In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to perform a crack test and a leak test on a pressure safety valve. I've got my field lab and the PSV mounted on a two-port manifold with a regulated gas pressure source attached to the inlet with a block and bleed valve. Now I've already created a test on my PC and loaded it onto the field lab. The test will follow ASME Section 8 standards for this type of valve. First, I'll activate the test from the test mode menu here and you can see the details of the test. We'll repeat a crack test three times with the acceptable crack to be within Section 8 standards. I've also included a seat tightness test to check for leaks. Now I'll activate this test. This sets our gauge in the pressure safety valve test mode. Next, I'll enter the set point for this PSV and this particular valve has a set point of 50 PSI so I enter that here. The field lab computes the acceptable crack range according to ASME Section 8. And for this set point, the specs allow between 48 and 52 PSI, or plus or minus 2 PSI from the set point according to the standard. Okay, so right now the block and bleed valve is closed, so there's no pressure applied at this point. Now I start logging the pressure for my first test. The field lab directs me to increase pressure and stop logging once I observe the valve crack. I slowly open the valve to my pressure source and watch as the pressure rises towards the set point. Now the field lab is measuring the pressure increments at 200 samples per second to capture the cracking pressure and reseat pressure with great accuracy. And there's the crack, so I stop logging. And here we see the results of the first test. In this instance, the crack occurred at 48.3 PSI with a receipt detected at 43 PSI. This is within the specs for an acceptable test, so it looks like the valve is within tolerance. But I've built in two more of the same test just to be sure. So I accept these results and move on to the next test. I'll bleed off the pressure and then close the block and bleed valve before starting again. Now I repeat the test. I begin logging, add pressure, and wait till the valve cracks. Shut off the pressure, stop logging, and check the results. And we can see that in this test, the crack point was 48.4 PSI, and the receipt occurred at 42.2 PSI. This test is also within specifications. If it was out of tolerance, we would see the cracking pressure in red. And now I do it a third time but your test regimen can be whatever is necessary for your specific requirements. This time the valve cracked at 48.3 PSI and reseated at 42.8 PSI, again with an acceptable range for this PSV. Now if I had experienced a problem with my hoses or needed to re-perform this test for some other reason, I could simply hit re-log and redo the third of the three tests. The first two tests are already stored on the gauge, and only the third test will need to be repeated. But I can just proceed normally here. So the field lab now moves on to the seat tightness test, where pressure will be applied and monitored for a period of one minute. So now I apply pressure just under the set point. And I've added some soapy water to the valve to see any indication of seat leakage. I can see that there are some bubbles forming, so I know there is some leakage going on here at the seat. After a minute has passed, the test shows us there has been a change in pressure, and we can see how much it has dropped. This information, combined with my bubble test, indicates that the valve was leaking, so I'll mark this test as failed. Now if the soap bubble test did not show a leak, but I still had a pressure drop, I'd do the same tests on the manifold and fittings to make sure the leak wasn't happening somewhere else. So now my test is complete and all of the data for this series of tests is stored in the field lab. Next, I'll load my test results back to our information system. To do that, I connect the field lab to my PC and launch the field lab desktop software. Now I see the connected field lab, and I import my recent test data to get a better look at it. And here I've got a nice summary of the PSV test. Each crack test shows a visual of the pressure levels throughout the test, and you can see where the valve cracked, 
and reseed it. To finish up, I'll create a PDF of the test report to include with our regular certification documents. This helps demonstrate both our process and the valve's performance. There are many options for configuring a PSV or PRV test. Tests are defined on the Field Lab desktop software and can be shared with everyone on your team to enforce standard operating procedures. Take a look at our PSV test creation video for a demonstration. And thanks for watching.